In this video, I'll show you how to make your spreadsheet read-only in LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and video tutorials on how to use Calc software. Recently, I made a video about how to password protect your spreadsheet in LibreOffice Calc. And on that video, I got an interesting question from a viewer. Here, he or she says, is there a way to make spreadsheets read only? I have one that I use for some mathematical calculations, but I do not want to accidentally save it with numbers entered. So after thinking about this question and trying to figure out if Calc supports read only, I wasn't able to find it. However, there is a potential workaround for a use case like this. And I think the best way would be to make the file read only within the Windows operating system. Now, if you're using Linux or Mac, that's okay too. It probably will work as well. First, I'll just try making some changes to the spreadsheet by typing in some information. Normally, you probably have a table of data or whatnot in your sheet. Then we'll go ahead and save the file as usual. And then we'll choose save. Now in order to make the file read only, we have to close the file. So either go to file and close, or we can exit LibreOffice completely. So here in the location where your file was saved, right click on the file, in Windows, we can choose Properties. Then here in the General tab on the bottom, there's the Attributes and a couple checkboxes. Choose Read Only and then click on OK. Then we can open the file again. And notice that once I open it, on the top there's a status bar that says this document is open in Read Only mode. So if I try to type some text here in cell B9, we see nothing is going on because it's set in read-only mode. That's good. However, the user wanted to be able to edit some cells or put in some numbers. So we can go ahead and click on this button, Edit Document. Now I'm able to type in some new information or data. All right, now the good thing with this is I can make edits. And if I try to save, we see that LibreOffice Calc doesn't automatically save the file. It forces me to actually use the Save As dialog so that I have to either change the file name to something else, or I could use the same file name, but when I try to save, it will ask me to confirm if I want to overwrite the spreadsheet. So it adds an extra layer of protection that I don't accidentally save over the spreadsheet after I make some changes. Here I'll just click no. And I'll try saving this using a different file name. And now if we take a look at the new file I saved, this is actually a new spreadsheet and although it's no longer read only the original file is still preserved in the read only state and won't have any changes in there so i can open this up to confirm that so here the original spreadsheet it's still in read only and it doesn't have the new text which i've typed into cell b9 earlier so i hope this workaround works for you. If it doesn't, or if you have any other questions, feel free to mention it in the comment section below. Thanks for your question and thank you for watching. And as always, stay nifty.